Rough Animator version 2.14 is finally out. It's actually been out for a little while now. Uh, thanks for all the comments letting me know that it's available. I'm going to go ahead and go over today uh, the new updates and changes uh, from version 2.13 to 2.14 on today's episode of the Expat Animator. Hey, it's Patrick. Welcome to my Expat Animator series, where I try and help beginners, hobbyists, and independent animators create 2D animations. So let's go ahead and take a look here. When we open Rough Animator, uh, anything below 2.14, you're gonna get the software update box. And let's look at the three options or uh, release notes here. We've got import layers from other projects. We've got progress bar when applying changes to multiple drawings. And we've got a bug fix here. Uh, layer name changes, we're only saving if you pressed enter. So let's go ahead and take a, try and take a look at the, the first one here, import layers from other projects. So I need to install the update, so let's go ahead and do that right now. And it looks like it's around 10 megabytes, and let's go ahead and relaunch. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna open my walk cycle project here. And, okay, let me just zoom out a little bit. So importing layers from other projects. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go ahead and go to file and down here we've got import project. So let's try that. It's not saying import layers, but let's open up the import project. Let's pick a different project here, open that up. And then it gives us this select layers to import dialog. And this is what we want. So I know that this top layer is what I wanna bring in. So if I click that one, you can see it's actually will let you select multiple layers, but that's all I want. Uh, we can do select all, select none. Let's go ahead and hit okay. Now I'm selected on this colors layer, so I'm a little worried it might bring it in on top of that, but let's hopefully it'll bring it in as a new layer. So let's hit okay. And look, it did it. So there's layer two copy, that's what I wanted. And there it's, it's right on top of there. So next thing I need to do is because I've got them on top of each other is I just want to, let me try to go into the beginning here. Let's hit edit multiple. Let's grab everything that I want here. So I'm grabbing everything but the actual uh, cycle. And then I'm gonna hit select all, or I could use my lasso tool and draw a selection around this. But if I just hit select all here in the tool options, it's gonna grab all of those images. Now I can move them around. So see how I've got the little hand icon here? So I can just move those over here. I could scale it if I wanted to. And now get it to where I want it. And then I just click anywhere outside of this pink area and it should place it down. So now I've just moved this whole layer so that it plays. And then the last step I need to do is I need to go up to the timeline here and click one time within, click in the layer itself. So now this has been moved and now I can come up here and scrub in my timeline and I can see both animations within the same project. So that actually worked pretty well. Um, it wasn't exactly how I thought it would be uh, where you could just grab the layer and then paste it in. But now we know that we can go file, uh, import project, and then select the layer from the project that we want. So uh, I like that new feature. So importing layers from other projects works well for me. And the next thing uh, was progress bar when applying changes to multiple drawings. So again, we can zoom in here and just do this real quick here. Let's go ahead and, and select this layer here. Let's do edit multiple because I want to grab all of these drawings here. And let's look for a progress bar when we're applying changes to these. So let's do select all and I'm going to just move these over here. And maybe I want to flip it horizontally. Okay. Now we're going to look for a progress bar when we apply these changes. So if I click over here one time, we still need to click in the timeline to place, to see we have the multiple images here. So let's go ahead and click one time here. And I, I guess that that was it, that uh, progress bar applying changes. 
um, that flashed up real quick there. Um, I can't remember if it, I, I guess it didn't have that in previous versions. So, you know, if you're working with a, a big project and you apply changes to a lot of your drawings, the progress bar is gonna probably be a lot slower. So, and you at least have something to look at and uh, know that things are working while you're waiting for your changes to apply. And the, finally, there was a bug fix. Uh, layer name changes were only saving if you pressed enter. So let's go ahead and just try and change this to, um, let's call it tuxedo. And now if I were to click off, I didn't have to hit enter and it changed the name. So importing layers from other projects, I think is a really uh, powerful tool that's been added to Rough Animator. And I look forward to using that uh, so that in the past, what I was what I was doing was I was taking an old project, like say this walk cycle. Uh, if I wanted to use the walk cycle in a different project, I would take the rough animator file before I opened it, duplicate it, and then use that as my jumping off point. So now I don't have to do that, which is nice, where I can just select a different um, rough animator project, grab the layer or layers that I want, and import those into my current project. So that's a really cool, cool change to add where we can just import animated pieces from other projects without having to duplicate that project to get it into our current project. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. My name is Patrick Davidson. Thanks for joining me today and keep on animating. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.